Hey folks, so behind me, we're doing a little comparison here of snowmobiles. It's January 15th today in northern Wisconsin, and we cannot snowmobile. We have about two inches of snow out on the trails, so uh, of course the trails aren't open here. So I'm left to wash and stare at my two snowmobiles I cannot use. So that's where we're at with uh, with the winter right now. Much like winters of the early 2000s, we're just not able to snowmobile right away, which sucks. Um, so anyway, we're left to do this little review here. So I rode uh, my two snowmobiles I just purchased this year around uh, my property that I have. One of them being a 2016 900 Ace, and the other being a 2013 1200 Vortec. So if, um, if you've remembered or seen any of my videos before, you, you've noticed that I had a 2017 uh, 1200 Vortec along with a 2012 600 E-Tech. Um, I've had just about every engine Steedu has made in their snowmobiles, uh, their mainstream engines. Um, now moving with the 900 Ace, 1200 Vortec, 600 E-Tech, 800 E-Tech, and uh, some others. So, oh, 800 P-Tech as well. So, now I'm left with this 900 Ace and this 1200 Vortec. So, one thing this 900 Ace has and my previous 1200 Vortec had was the ICT or the Intelligent Throttle Control, which gives you Eco, Standard, and Sport. Um, this just has the regular throttle cable that controls the throttle. And if you watch some other snowmobile reviewers before, you'll see that they will talk about the throttle cable being laggy. But I actually find the ICT, even in sport mode, is more laggy than the old throttle uh, throttle system, the cable throttle system. So. I'm not sure why they talk about that or what they mean. Um, I, I guess maybe they're probably a better rider than I am, but uh, I put on 2,000 plus miles a year when I ride, so I definitely get the full trail experience when I do ride. But anyway, the main reason for this little uh, sit down chat review this is the least powerful snowmobile I've ever had. And I'm just going to put it out there. It is noticeable. The 900 Ace is a it's 40 horsepower, 50 horsepower less than this 1200 Vortex. So it is a noticeable horsepower difference between the two three cylinder engines. Um, although the 900 Ace does have great low end torque, it does have a lot of snap, especially in sport mode. It can hang with a 600 E tank. Just like the pain with this on the low end, you know, zero to 40 miles an hour. After that, the crack of the whip really favors the 1200 Vortec. There is no getting around how fast and how responsive and how torquey this engine is. And even more so in the Renegade form instead of the GSX form. The, the Renegade, of course, is clutch different, gear different, so it's going to have a little bit more. Uh, uh, width to it than a GSX uh, SE with the long track because it's more of a touring comfort sled. So while I do love the 900 Ace, I feel like for a younger rider and somebody who does expect trail performance, the 1200 if you're looking at a new sled is, is the better route to go. Um, I put a lot of miles on the 1200s not have any major issues with, with any major component besides one heat, uh, one overheating issue, and that was a fault of my own. So I am really curious to see how this 900 hangs on the trails and uh, see how it does with fuel economy and, and everything like that. And, and maybe I won't be missing that extra power. I'm not a, uh, you know, 80 plus mile an hour rider per se, so maybe I won't be missing that power. But um, one thing, the 900, two things actually, the 900 does have going for it. It's really quiet, which I like. I don't like the drone. Um, I think the 1200 has the perfect stock exhaust on it. There's a little bit of drone, 
there's some bustle to it. Um, you know, it, you know you have horsepower behind you to back you up. The 900 is quiet. Uh, it, it's smooth, so so smooth. Props to that ICT, that intelligent throttle control, um, and uh, it's light. The 900 Ace and the XS chassis compared to the 1200 Cortex and the XS chassis is such a noticeable weight difference that even as a smaller rider, somebody like me who's 5'8 and tops 150 pounds uh, notices just that much weight reduction in, in the slide and in the chassis. And, and for that, I love it. For a lighter rider, I love that this engine is lighter. I'm able to toss around the snowmobile more. I'm able to control the snowmobile better compared to something like this 1200 Cortex, especially in this GSX package that probably weighs 80 to 100 pounds more than this 900 Ace in the uh, XS chassis. So with that being said, you're able to have a little bit more fun with the 900 Ace, especially as a smaller rider, where that weight reduction is really going to be noticeable. So that I do have to say I do like it. Um, in terms of, of you know today's engines, I can see why they turbo this engine and they got the 1200 engine, even though they put about the same horsepower and torque down. This is a lighter application and it's a little bit more responsive, but uh, this definitely has the edge on fun factor on the trails and uh, speed. But overall, at the end of the day, what one would I choose in my 900 A's package or the 1200 XS package that I sold? At the end of the day, I would go again with the 1200 Cortex. Um, it's faster, it's, it's, uh, it, it's got more low end torque, you get out of those holes a little bit better, and it's a true trail machine. But in snow and any sort of power, anything like that, this is a lighter application. So this would be better for somebody who you know, doesn't necessarily need the speed on the trails and does like to go off trail, which I like to do. So uh, at the end of the day, this is a very close second to the 1200 Cortex. Um, it's just so quiet, it's such a refined engine, and I can honestly see why they put these in every sled they make, basically. Uh, they're great for fleets. They're great for rentals, they're great for basically anybody. But uh, if you're taking a look, take a look at both of these on the used market. They're both reliable, great sleds. You really shouldn't have any issues with them as I haven't had any issues with them. So um, good luck on your searches. Uh, you really can't go wrong with both of them.